Hey friends, welcome to channel Creative Art. My name is Dilma and in this video, I'm going to show you all about the color mixing techniques and the shading techniques I use in my glass paintings, especially the very minute ones. For example, this orchid I have painted in the Orchid Lady glass painting, which maybe you haven't noticed, but it contains very minute and simple tricks, which I have shown in this particular video. I hope you watch the whole video to learn the tricks and turns I use for my paintings. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel friends to watch more learning videos. So let's start our glass painting friends. First of all, we have taken the orchid flower for painting. I have already made the outlining for the convenience. You will find this image in my website. Okay, we are going to start coloring our flowers using Faber-Castell glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades. Okay. Okay, for coloring this orchid flower, we are going to use three colors that is ultramine blue, purple and white. So you know ultramine blue and white is present in the box of 10 but the purple color which is this is not present in the box of 10. So you can make this purple color using an empty bottle, you have to combine blue, this is the sea blue and light pink color, half half. 50 50 in an empty bottle and shake it well then you'll get this purple color I have shown in the previous video in the color combination video okay so let's start painting first of all what we have to do is we have to simply color the borders of the orchid flower using white use the minimum quantity of white as you can So here it is then you have to use purple and drag it to the end then again take the purple and drag it to the end and this is the way you have to just pull it long the same we'll do with the next petal When you make this flower, you'll really find it very easy. Then what I'm going to do is just take the ultramine blue and make a very thin line over it. The okay, same you have to do for the, this one. Then you have to leave it for some time. Okay, you have to use a pin and just spread the ultramine blue till the end. You can also bring up the white to the between first. Then pull the ultramine blue to the outwards. This will very much give your painting a natural look. Okay, now you have to pull the blue outwards. So this is how you have to make the petals of the orchid. Again, we'll pour the white color. Then I'll take the purple. Again, use the ultramine blue. We'll start from the white again. Then we'll start with the purple. You have to just start from the middle stem towards the top of the petal. Okay, 
to see how beautiful it looks and then again we'll use the ultramine blue and pull a straight center middle line towards the top using a small pin again we'll spread out some blue out of the line to give it a natural look So in the same way, I'll be coloring all the petals in this orchid. Just keep a watch. So here is our orchid flower completed. Let's start our next part of a shading friends. So for this I have chose a kind of rose. These are very beautiful rose going to be. I have painted this rose in the painting Lady with Blossoms. So I'm showing you the shading again for this learning part. Okay for this flower we are going to need one new color which is not present in the box of 10. So it is a combination of pink and blue. Here are the and here it is your purple color ready. So for this painting, we are going to use purple, pink, uh, black, and white. We are going to use four colors. The stage of painting is growing now, so you can see. Okay, first what we are going to do is we'll keep the black apart because this is the most darkest color. We'll use it at the last while we are giving it a final touch. First we'll use the purple. I'll start from this one and then I'll use the pink I'll try to mix the purple with pink 
just make some circular motions and the colors will get mixed themselves until and unless the colors are mixed up properly do not pour much color on it because it can spoil your painting okay then pour the pink in the same way we'll do it for this one cool now we'll let it get dry for some time we'll shade the outer ones first So now we'll let it get dry and after that we'll color the third part okay till that I'll color the remaining petals in the same way first video apply some purple then we use the white part as it's quite a small portion it will be difficult to shade for you but the dappling of colors will also look quite beautiful after the painting has gone dried up so you need not worry much that you're not too good in shading you just need to try it once So now you see that the purple part has got dried up a bit so we'll add some black and the borders in the most deeper parts in very little quantity that's it and just leave it if it occupies the hole you can also add some purple again
So this was the final touch of the flower even after we have done the whole shading part. You have to just not move it and let it get dry because the painting is very deep and intense. As this is the curve of the flower edge, so we'll color it in very light pink, combining it with white. Now we'll let the center part of this flower let get dry and move it on to the first flower. Now to the darker shade we will put some more purple First we'll just draw a line of purple then without mixing it we'll just pull it up with the pink we are not mixing up here the purple with the pink we are just pulling it up with the pink now we'll use white Mix the pink with the white. And this is how the flower center will appear after it gets dried up we have to add some more white at the center and when the border gets dried up we'll add some more purple at the surrounding okay till that the second flower has got dried up After putting the darker shade, I'll also end up this painting by putting few drops of pink one after other on the combination of pink and purple. Okay, and if there are any bubbles, remove it using the cotton bud.
ultimate patch of the queen as we do. If your flower requires the final touch of pink, do it otherwise let it be remained okay. It itself looks beautiful. Again we start with the center part using purple will mark some Finally, this was the most difficult shading which we have completed and if you can do the shading in a very appropriate way, in the very perfect way as we have done in this painting, then you'll complete all the shading part, trust me, in the glass painting and you'll be perfectly eligible to make any kind of shading you want. So after coloring the flowers, I'll show you how we can color the leaves. I have selected this kind of leaves because these are specially multicolor. So generally the leaves are of two colors, two to three colors. They contain parrot green mostly. Then if the leaf is like for money plant, it will also contain somewhere yellow or white shade. And generally we use the crystal green color for tree, the darker shades, okay? So I'll show you both the leaves in variant colors. First, I'll show you the general leaf color. We'll start from dark green. Then I'll use the parrot green. So now we'll use the golden yellow. So now next leaf I'm going to combine all the colors whichever we like and uh, the leaf get shades off from any of the side as you know so I'll use brown at the side and then then I'm using a bit orange but for the other side I'll be using dark green. Now the rest is with yellow. Here yeah, friends our flowers have got dried up so I'll turn this out so that you can see very clearly the beautiful shadings which we have created in the orchids and roses and for this leaf. So if you did like this video friends, please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.